adults and teenagers and the world. Is Mama coming at you? Yes. Earlier in the week, we put up a poll asking you what dish would you like uploaded next. There were quite a few um, on there. I think there was the uh, smothered pork chops. The, was my apple and blueberry, uh, uh, apple and... Everything that we're cooking today was up there. Okay. The spinach <laughs> pie, my crumble, loads of things. Well, top of the list came smothered pork chops. So we're going to be uploading this video net for next one. Thank you very much for participating. We're going to try and do this more often because it's not just about what we want. It's about what you want as well. Well, it's what I want to cook. But, <laughs> but it's the order in which it's I do it. what they want to watch. But it's what you want to watch. And I really want to engage with you. So, as you can see, right now, I'm going to be doing for you, as requested, my version of smothered pork chops. Okay? Um, and as this is for our dinner tonight, um, I'm going to have to cook it slightly different. Okay? Um, because I can't eat it the way with all the flour at the moment because I'm I'm trying to cut back on on wheat and flour and sugar and all of those things. So can you hand me that pan there, Katrina, just mm -hmm. on the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm gonna do mine separately. Okay. Okay? So I'm gonna be cooking separately. Let's put this one here in the middle for all of you. Put that one there. So first thing first, I've got some pork chops here. And I have marinated them in my Cajun seasoning, salt, pepper, a little bit of my Polish seasoning, all-purpose seasoning that I like using. But you don't have to use this, okay? So I don't want anybody to say, I can't get that. Um, salt and pepper, Cajun seasoning, got it marinated. Then I'm going to turn my pan on. Is that a new pan, Mum? Yes, and why isn't this coming up clean on? Don't know. Let's do it here. Yes, this is a new pan that I bought from you patrons. Thank you very much. Because it's twin, which is the one right there, is just a little bit beat. <laughs> yes. It's beat up. <laughs> okay, so let's get this on. There we go. And turn it down a little bit. And you want to get your oil going. Now, I'm going to be using my oil. Girl, you know you better get your... She's over there. I made a crumble earlier. And Katrina is here filming me and got with her left, her right left hand up here eating that apple and rhubarb crumble. Get out of it. So, now, you guys, you know how I say when I cook, I always recycle. You know, I don't bend it, I spin it. And this is my oil. Now, I want you to see. Look at the color. Okay? Can you see it's still quite light? And I only need about that much. Okay, so that's all that we used. That's the, oil. That the, fried, that, the fried jerk chicken that we yeah, did. Yeah, I did my fried jerk chicken in this earlier in the week. So we're going to let that oil heat up. While that oil is heating, let's get it right up. Oh, I turned it off. Let's get it back on. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to season my flour. So I'm going to put some salt. Pepper, quite a bit of pepper, and some of my Cajun seasoning. Okay, and I'm going to dredge, as they say, my pork chops in this. Hey, I've got a question. So it sh it should be done with normal flour, not yeah, with not just, with cornmeal. Yeah, just regular regular. That's flour. where I've been going wrong. Yeah, no, for these. I've been doing it in cornmeal and going. Well, why isn't this working well? Yeah, no, you need to do it, especially if you want to make a gravy, and yeah. I'm going to be making gravy afterwards. So and then, yeah, and then my gravy's always failed. Yeah, I'm so going no. Wrong. So if if you want to do your pork chops just in a cornmeal, you can cook it that way, but it's got to be corn flour, just that the really oh. fine, not the really got it. Not okay. the what's it called one. Well, thank you. Now okay. I know why it's not been now. working. Also, so I'm going to, in this part, let's get this one on. And it's all these, all my burners are going to be going because I'm going to be cooking up. Come on, stay on. There we go. So, in this pot, I have some white potato and sweet potato because as I'm cooking, I'm cooking their dinner. 
so I'm cooking a little bit more. So in there I've got some potatoes and all I've done with those potatoes is I've blanched them off slightly. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're not fully cooked, but they're nearly cooked. Okay. And I'm going to add some onions to this. Get a Cajun seasoning. Touch of olive oil. And we're just going to fry those potatoes up. And a little bit of garlic. This is my lazy garlic. Okay. So my wooden spoon. There we go. So we're going to let those cook. To the back pan there, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. Is that for your one? This is for me. Mm -hmm. And then without putting any flour or anything, I'm just going to take my pork chop. Let's let that pan get a little bit hot though. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so the other it. ones are going to get smothered, right? Yeah, these are going to get smothered in flour, which is going to contribute to the gravy that we're mm -hmm. going to be making later. Okay. okay? All right. There we go. You hear that? So you wouldn't start flouring until you know your oil's yeah, hot? Yeah, I'm waiting until my oil's hot. Okay. Okay, and now I'm going to start flouring because then I want to just start moving got it. it. Got it, got it, got Alrighty. it. All right. So, here we go. So, that one's hot. See, it's all coming together. So, how many pork chops have we got here? Because Katrina's going to want some. Yes, Katrina is definitely going to want some. And Phil, although Busy Ann doesn't eat pork, so I'll do him another meat. So. Okay, we're ready? Yep. Okay, so it's enough oil to cover it up to half. Halfway. Almost, yeah, okay. Some people deep fry it in oil, but I don't want to deep fry it. Okay, that marinade looks good. And that's all going to go into the gravy. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on, the other side is what? Needs more flour. It will take it up. And let's get one more in there. So that gives two for Katrina, two for Phil. Oh, thank you. This big one. I'll Actually, put. I'll have one. I'll take one home. I've got a friend coming over. <laughs> I'll pretend I cooked. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, Mum, be careful. Thumb in hot. Please don't put your thumbs in hot packs, people. Mum's a chef who's been cooking for many years and she's got our special fingers. There we go. Let's just let those cook off. And this one here. I'm just throw this one in there. Be my lunch tomorrow. Cool. Okay, now I'm going to save this. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to throw this in when I make my gravy. So actually, no. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my onion. Yeah. Drop them in there. And my peppers. Drop it in there. Get that flavor. And see what I'm doing is I'm and getting some flour, flour yeah. off my fingers. That's very clever, Mum. Straight onto there. And now I'll go and wash my hands. Okay. Okay, at this stage, I'm going to go over to mine, look at that, and just turn those, and let's go here. Now, what I am going to be doing is cooking these, and then I'm going to transfer them to the oven, just to finish off a bit. There we go. Why did mine never turn out good like this? Because you ain't the mama. Well, you need to transfer some of that mumminess to me. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah well, like, just keep watching the videos, Katrina. You're learning. You are learning. Yeah, but I can cook, but I, I know you can't cook. cook like you. I know you can. All right. They look amazing. That's the thing. I always look at pork chops in the supermarket and think I want to do it, but because they never turn out like yours, I never do. I always end up disappointed. Yeah, now don't be disappointed. Okay. Now also for the dinner, what I wanted to do is I had a bag of some cabbage and leeks, which is basically starting to, well, it's been there a while, so it's time to eat it. So I'm going to make those as well. So with these, 
in a pan, I just need some butter right there. Mm -hmm. So, hang on, just one second. I'm just gonna. This is the apple and rhubarb crumble that's coming up in the video in a couple of days' time. I'm telling you, it's so good. So, just gonna take some butter, throw it in the pan there. I'm going to season my pot with some Cajun seasoning. And these are new. Don't you like these? Yes, thank please. you, thank you, Patreon. I'm trying to cook fresh with all my new stuff that you guys have given me. And I'm just going to add, it's fine, straight to that, some cabbage and leek. I told my husband he's in for a treat tonight <laughs> when he gets home. All this good food I got cooking. Yeah. Got, look, hang on. Spinach and feta pie that we did earlier as well. Delicious. Okay, so at this stage, I'm going to now take our pork chops out. Because these are going to then go back in the gravy. Mm. And I'm going to just put these in the oven. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to transfer this oil. Is it still good? Ah, oh, I've got a question. What, mixing my oils? No, well, not mixing your oils, but if because you've cooked pork in there. That's what I mean, that's mixing my oil. I won't be using this for bouzian. Don't worry, that was my I question. Know. So, but you want to keep a little bit of that sediment there at the bottom. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to add some butter. And straight to that, we're going to add some saucy stuff in there, Mum. We're going to add some onions and some sliced bell peppers. So I've got red, green, and yellow peppers. Now we just want to cook these down. Let's get this going as well. I can put a little bit more cabbage in there because it will cook now. So what you're actually witnessing is mum cooking her dinner. <laughs> Bit of water. Steam that down. Then come back over this side. Here's our potatoes. Oh, nice. Sauteed sweet they potato with lovely. white potato with onion and garlic. Let those cook. Then go back over here. And you really want to get these nice and softened. Okay? Before we start building up our gravy for this. Alright, should we come back? Yep, come back to it. Okay. So, as you can see, my onions have softened up. So, what we're going to do at this stage is if you, I don't know if you watched one of my earlier videos, or you can. No, you couldn't have because this one's going up first. <laughs> But, in this pot, I've got all of like the bits of the onion, I did some crispy kale, and this I boiled up and made some stock. So I'm going to just pour this stock directly into there, because that's what I'm going to use to make my gravy. Okay? We don't spin it, we spin it. Now, also, this. Easily. Could be bin. Oh, that's no. the flour that you use. This is the flour. Okay. So I'm going to take some of this flour now. And I'm going to sprinkle this flour over my onions. Okay. We want a nice thick gravy. Just a little bit more. Just over it. And then I'm going to add some soy sauce. That helps give it some color. And some 
sauce. W sauce. Go and say it, mommy. You can Ma, say it now. I can say it now. My wishy shishy style. Wow, that, mm, okay. My wishy shishy style. Worcester. No, it's got a shire in it. <laughs> so, let's add some of this. I tend to marinate my pork chops with the sauce and tarragon. Not for this dish, but just yeah. another dish. It's really tasty. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to add this stock. Now, what I would like to do is, I like this gravy now to cook. Now let me add some, a little bit more seasoning to that, some more Cajun. Yeah, it's not nice, it's going to be thick. Mmm, very nice and thick. Check our potatoes. Check our check, check our let me see this. This is my cabbage and leeks. Just give it a turn. Great, lovely. Okay, step back because I need to get in the oven now. Stepping back. So I'm now going to take out of the oven Look at that. Oh these pork goodness, chops that amazing. and we're just going to lay those on the top here because then I'm going to cover it and finish cooking it. Put my ones back in the oven since they're being covered with nothing but my chops. <laughs> now let's Let's do some of the smother bit. Let's smother these babies. Oh, mom. Smother them. Okay, and let's put the lid on. And just let, oh, goodness me. Katrina, I need you to do me a favor. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh. What do you need me to do? Taste it, please. Taste it. To tell you if it's missing anything. Yeah. Okay, hold on. That gravy. Oh, it's perfect. Tiny bit of salt. You see, you like salt. Katrina. Honestly, just a tiny bit. Because right, I know I said, you. You like salt. Well, it's because I, I lack it. I, need I know. It. There we go. Yeah, just a tiny bit. The sweetness from the peppers is so lovely, and there's the Worcester sauce is bringing out the sweetness from the peppers, which, you, which is why you need a little bit of salt. Okay. Look at that. So let's cover that over. That's good. And our potatoes are done. Turn those off. They are ready. My cabbage. We've done this in real time. You've basically made dinner in like 25 minutes. Yes. And it's, and it's a decent dinner. It's easy to do. It is so easy to do. This I can taste because this is part of my can do. Mm. What's it need? The salt. Mmm. Mmm. The Cajun's coming through lovely. And this also needs a touch of butter. Notice I'm using this spoon because this is for Boozy and he's having this. Mm -hmm. and let's just fold that in. So what meat are you going to do for Boozy and for his dinner? Oh, I got him. He'll be lucky boy. I got him some steak. Oh. I might as well go get it because I know that boy's hungry. He's hungry. <laughs> mm. Okay. And. Oh! <laughs> Now look at that. Look at that. Look at that. But now all the coatings come off. Yeah, but it's, but it's all going in into the gravy. The gravy. Yeah. It's all part of the gravy. Yeah. Here we go. Wow. Wow. It's all part of the gravy. It's amazing. Phil's a lucky man. I had to. Oh, that's good. Let me taste it. Oh, it's good. Mmm. 
Oh, that's really good. Mm. All right, so I'm going to just turn this down because it's nearly done. Turn it right down. Lovely. Turn that off. I'll be right back at you. I'm just going to. All right, so I think everything is ready. Oh, wow, that looks good. Ready to go. So let me dish up. We have, give me that wooden spoon, please. So, for his dinner tonight, Phil will get this is the husband some cabbage and leeks cooked in butter, some potatoes, mm -hmm. sauteed potatoes, sweet potato and white potato. Cram to top it up. Crowning glory. I'll take the plate to the I camera. Will. I will. I'm just getting it. Here we go. Wow. It's smothered. You know what? I need to interview Phil about how he feels his life has changed since you becoming a YouTuber. Well, you've gotten <laughs> fatter. <laughs> yeah, I ain't changed. I always cook like this for him. I know you did. There we go. Is he only having one or two? He'll have two, but he'll take one. Usually he'll take the other one for lunch tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And you'll have those two. Lovely. Thank you, Mummy. So, there we go. Hold the plate. I can see you hold the plate. Smothered pork chops with my spring greens, cabbage, leeks, and my mixed white potato and sweet potato. Bam! So a little bit of peace, love, and a whole lot of soul for the mama. Thank you for choosing this video, people. Love ya. Bye. Till the next time. Okay. okay. Now that was fun. I hope you enjoyed that video and all of the videos that Mama's putting out there for you. Now, it ain't just about watching the videos, cooking the food. It's about becoming a part of my world. And the best way for you to become a part of my world is to click, subscribe, share, <laughs> become a patron. Oh <laughs> There's a lot more to it. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm trying to engage my <laughs> universal world of peeps. Oh my god. Okay, I'm so gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna take over. Mama Cherry is on Instagram. We are on Instagram. Subscribe and hit those notifications. There is a bell. I didn't even know nothing about it. I'll show you where it is. But now I do. <laughs> Join our universal world of peeps. Become a Patreon to receive rewards. But more than anything, go to our website so that you can check out our shop. But remember, I want you also, people, because I know a lot of you out there have Facebook. Check in on me on Facebook. That's when I get right down and personal. And you get to see the behind the scenes bits of Mama Cherry. I share my life. I share my life. I share my hopes, I share my dreams with you. Oh my God. <laughs> Love you guys. See you in the next video.